have a great technique on how to create a 3D sphere or circle inside of Adobe Fireworks. To do this, go over to the vector section of your toolbox and you want to choose your ellipse tool. You may need to press down and then choose the ellipse tool from the other shapes. Hold down your shift key so you can draw a perfect circle. Go over to your canvas, you'll see the crosshair. And now with your shift key held down, you want to drag down with your mouse to create the size of the circle that you want. Release your mouse and then release your shift key to get that perfect circle. So we have just a plain circle now. We need to change this into a sphere. So we're going to go down on properties. And where it says solid, we want to change that fill to gradient. And then we want to choose radial. Go back down to where it says radial and choose fill options. So we have gradient and we have it at radial. We want to go to edit to edit our colors. Now over here for the left color, we want to set the left color to white because this is going to be our light source on our sphere. Now the right color you can go ahead and you can change to any color that you'd like to use. So when you're finished with that, just click off of it and it will change. Okay, click off this and we will um, go ahead and we will get our sphere here. Now we want to change where the light source is. There's probably not going to be a light source head on like that. So to get your tools where you can change where your um, gradient is showing up, then you need to select the paint bucket tool and you'll get this line. So what you need to do is you need to move the square and this is where the white is. Over here, I like to put it in the top left corner. You can, of course, move it to wherever you'd like to have it, depending on the effect. And then if you move your blue down this way, then you'll get a whole new look. And you can go ahead and you can just move those around to get whatever look you like. and then click on your pointer tool and then click somewhere else and there you have created your 3D sphere. You can also use a perspective shadow if you'd like to make it look even more realistic.